Hey, what's up? Six Tayo here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get animated weather widgets on your iPhone 5, 4S, 4, or 3GS. Um, I am not actually sure how this runs on the 3GS, but 4, 4S, and 5 should run perfectly fine. This will also work on your iPad mini or full-size iPad. However, it will only work in the uh, top little corner right there because it's not optimized. Other than that, it will work just fine. Anyway, here is uh, my iPhone 5. Uh, currently, I have it set for uh, Layton City, Utah, which is where I'm at, and damn, it is cold. I did not know it was that cold outside. Anyway, um, if you can see right here, it's just kind of cloudy outside, so it just has a couple clouds going through the screen. Um, this does change uh, with the actual weather. Um, the only thing that's actually required, and this will work on iPod Touch, but it will only go off of Wi-Fi. Data is required for this to actually you know, change animations and stuff like that. I'm not sure how this works without data going or anything like that. Actually, I probably could just do airplane mode but um, and find out. But otherwise, uh, yeah, you just need data for this. Anyway, uh, this is not a winterboard theme. I do not use winterboard, nor do I recommend it. Um, if it's, uh, if you're using winterboard, you might notice that your uh, iPhone will, you know, crash into safe mode a lot more often. Um, yeah, it's also why I prefer not to use Android rooted or anything like that because of ROMs. That's really all it is. It's just really cheap, shitty looking themes. Anyway, uh, back into this. It's called AnyWeather and iWidgets. iWidgets, uh, should actually install right into your settings. Actually, no, never mind. AnyWeather will install right in there. Uh, iWidgets is just a little enabler for widgets such as that. And then um, these widgets are actually separate. There's something melts. Anyway, you will need a repo source. Um, it's called Hunter Beckham. Um, the uh, actual source code, I'll just go ahead and enter it here, is, let's see, Cydia dot Hunter Beckham. Ah, what am I doing? Did I actually spell that right? Yeah, I did. Dot net forward slash. Enter it just like that. I'll just leave it right there just for a sec. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Uh, just enter that into your sources. I've already added it. It's uh, right here. And hit done. And uh, from there, you can actually just go to the search menu and do A N I W. And the first, well, only one that may pop up is Any Weather. If you go into Any Weather, it tells you what it is. And you can actually enable this through Winterboard, but it's much better just to do iWidgets so you don't have to actually have Winterboard. So, and actually, uh, actually, no, never mind. Do not require the use of Winterboard or iWidgets. But this did not work until I installed iWidgets. So, my bad there, but, you know, yeah, work for me. And um, let's see, right here it'll say that the default location is Hong Kong. So, if you're in Hong Kong and you can understand what I'm saying, uh, you shouldn't have a problem with this at all. But you will also need something like iFile or uh, you know S or SSH or something like that. And um, yeah, I just use iFile so it's a lot easier. And this is the uh, little file key that you use: var mobile library sb animated weather. So yeah, go ahead and install this, and then go and look for iWidgets. I W let's see widget. And there it is, iWidgets, just right there. And then after you've installed both of those, um, actually, you know, what I should say is after you install the repo for uh, Hunter Beckham, go to your changes and install the repo uh, security, and then respring. And then you can do all that. Anyway, after that, go into iFile. I'm going to hit home just so you can see where I go. You're already in mobile once you go home, so just go to library. See, scroll down to your S's, should be in there, SB Animated Weather, and the location here, uh, .js, go ahead and type on that. Actually, no, never mind. Then, see, text viewer, and if you look right here, this little, uh, I'll just go ahead and highlight it. Uh, right there, that is your location code. This is the Layton City, Utah uh, location code. And here is how to get that. 
simply go into your browser. You can use uh, whatever your browser is, like Chrome. I'll just go ahead and do Chrome. Or you can also use uh, Safari. I much rather prefer this. And you're just going to go to the Weather Channel. It's right there. Weather Channel. Once you actually get there, just make sure it's actually on your actual city, it has all your info and all that shit. Go into the URL and simply tap on it. Tap on the last code of uh, the URL and uh, just select it, copy, and then go back to iFile and do, 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 it's right there, text viewer, hit edit, select paste just like that save done and what I usually do is I just respring okay now we're going to go to your home screen you should have the accurate uh, weather condition of what's actually going on outside so yeah it's just cloudy outside here in Layton as of right now and yeah so that is how to do animated weather on your iOS device um, again this will work on your iPad except it will only work in the top corner right up here and yeah so that kinda sucks uh, hopefully that gets updated because I actually do really like this even though I only have a Wi-Fi only uh, iPad mini this is actually still pretty cool um, especially when I'm like tethering it when I'm driving and shit using GPS on my iPad mini. Uh, this would actually be pretty helpful, but yeah, it's not optimized yet. But uh, anyway, uh, that's just kind of uh, my little review tutorial and everything like that. Um, I've only had this for the last couple of hours, so I haven't actually seen how accurate and how quickly it changes with the weather. So, yeah. Um, I might come back and do another review on this, and other than that, that is it for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe in the box below. Follow me on Twitter at 6 Zero. If you want to know about any of these other uh, little tweaks I have installed, such as like OXO, Zephyr, or uh, Intel Screen X, you know, whatever, stuff like that, uh, SB settings, how to actually enable shit, um, how I'm actually uh, getting 4G in a non- full 4G area on my at t iPhone 5 and stuff like that. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know. Just hit me up. Uh, that's it for this video, and I will see you later.